Motion changes emotion. One of the things that we know from the research is this. If you're experiencing distressing emotions, anxiety, worry, frustration, whatever it is, the worst thing you can do really is sit there. Just sit there and dwell on it. The best thing you can do is actually move. And if we think about why this might be from an evolutionary perspective, it makes perfect sense. Our emotions are just signals that have evolved over millions of years to prompt our ancestors to take actions that were useful for them. And when we experience unpleasant emotions, those are just signals that are attempting to prompt us to change our circumstances, to either pursue what we need to, or to flee and therefore avoid what might be problematic for us. So this is great to know, eh? The next time you're feeling some kind of distress, don't sit there, get up and move. Go for a walk, go for a run. And what will happen is your central nervous system will reward you for paying attention to those signals by dialing down and reducing the distress. And we know this not just from an experiential perspective, but the neuroscience is clear around this too. When you engage in activities that create what is technically called self-generated optic flow, what does that mean? They're activities where things move past your visual field and you have made them happen through physical effort. It suppresses activity in your amygdala. And that's the part of the brain associated with all those distressing emotions. So team, motion changes emotion. The next time you're feeling something unpleasant, pay attention to that signal and get up and move. You know, pursue, pursue what would be useful or avoid what might be harmful to us. Motion changes emotion. All right, team, onward.